Welcome back. Now on Bounce, it is a great time to start talking about your finances before the holiday shopping season kicks off. Uh, Rondell Haywood is an investment advisor and VP at PNC Wealth Management. He's sort of our resident expert, back to give us something to think about when it comes to our finances. Great to see you. It's great to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you have a question for everyone watching, which is, are you more likely to bear your skin than your salary? Where did that come from? So I was thinking about my family and I like to go out to Hilton Head for uh, the summer, mm -hmm. and you've got everybody out there is wearing, wearing their bathing suits and you know two-piece bikini. Mm -hmm. But if you stepped up to somebody and said, "What'd you make last year?" Mm -hmm. They looked at you like you were crazy. Right. So I came up with this little sort of saying that you know us Americans are more likely to bear skin than we are to bear salary, mm -hmm. and that really just gets to how intimate of an issue money is yeah so how do you talk about money with relatives friends others well first of all you got to figure out who to talk to mm -hmm. this is not just show up next to thanksgiving and just start dumping on somebody right. hey did you right. know blah, blah, blah. <laughs> not that kind of thing at all spare me i know thanksgiving's on thursday mm -hmm. hold tight for just a second there yeah you have to figure out who you need to talk to who you can trust so it's about finding someone um, that you can trust. And then, I guess, number two, uh, identifying a specific problem you would like to have solved. Exactly. Find out who you can trust. For example, if you look at a family member, there's a specific goal that you'd like to accomplish. For example, Aunt Martha retired at 60. That sounds awesome. Would love to do that. Let's talk to her about that. Okay. So they have some credibility in that space. Mm -hmm. And then be very specific. Don't just say, can you give me some financial advice? You can say... Where do I get a will from? Or okay. I'm trying to figure out where funds to put my 401k and get real specific okay. so you can get some direct advice. Now, if you're asking a friend or family member, you kind of need to validate their experience uh, before you divulge any of your personal info. Yes, exactly right. A uh, Just because Uncle Joe used to be a cashier down at Kmart does not make him a financial expert. God bless Uncle Joe, but well we, <laughs> we need somebody that has had some kind of substantial experience, uh -huh. has had a career in banking, let's say, or okay. an attorney. And don't forget about your spouse now. Hmm. Remember, the key, if you're in a relationship, is openness. If you're that kind of spouse that Black Friday, you're sneaking in the house with your bag behind your back because <laughs> you don't want to see look. a purchase, that's not right. a good look. No, 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 no. We need an open dialogue okay. about finances so that you guys can accomplish your goals together. And then number four, get the green light. What do you mean by that? Get the green light. Just like I said before, you just don't show up and dump. You got to figure out, do you mind if I talk to you about a personal financial okay. issue? Much like not everybody wants to see your skin. Not everybody wants to hear talk about your money. Right? Well, there you go. We're <laughs> you keeping it real here. About. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I guess a last question. Um, is it a good idea to have a network of folks? Because you would think that your spouse might be enough. But you're saying... You would think, and the research that we've done points to the fact that people that have a network, this is spouses, this mm -hmm. is attorneys, financial advisors, they have 40% more savings than oh. people that don't. That's have the difference a between 100000 and $140,000. That's, that's then, real dollars. That's substantial. Yes, that's yeah. real money. Uh, so um, how much time we got left in this interview? Okay, 30 seconds. Really quickly, um, you always say if it's not hurting, you're not saving enough. That's right. You remember that, too. Mm -hmm. if you didn't, yes, you got to save up. some more until you feel some yeah. pain. And uh, you, you think about, all right, do I, is it too late? Is it too early to start for savings? Mm -hmm. It's never too early, mm -hmm. and it's never too late. Well, there start you Start early and do it often. Okay. Yes, and that's the best way to get the financial And give success. till it hurts. If you feel like you got a few extra dollars you floating around, you need to give a you little bit more. You might need more. to hide it from yourself because it's Christmas time. Ooh, yeah. I know something about that. <laughs> uh, for more information on how to network with Rondell, go to WBTV.com. The web extra section right there on the homepage is your free friend, Rondell Haywood from PNC uh, Wealth Management. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure. I love how you put s such complicated issues in terms Try that everybody can understand. Yeah. Keep it simple. Yeah. Appreciate it. Uh, we will see you the next time. And you folks at home, don't go anywhere more after the break.